I came out with Cuso to Tanzania partly to see see another world, a, a different culture, a different way of living, and see if I could a, adapt to it. Uh, see how I, I'd like living in a country different from Canada. Uh, I got to meet a couple of fellows from Tanzania while I was back in, in Canada, and uh, I started to become very interested in their country. So I, I thought I'd like to come out and, and just learn a little bit while I was out here. Tenge is uh, one of the oldest towns in, in Tanzania. It was historically a, a, a trading stop for people crossing the desert. Uh, Tenge itself means sail, which is uh, connected with the trade coming by sea in, into this town. It's been a traditional port for uh, Tanzania for many years. Most of the people here and in general along the coastal areas are Muslim people. So it's a, a very common sight to see the uh, Muslim Kanzu and the Kofia people wearing these type of clothes around town. I'm living in a, a government house just a few hundred yards from the Tanga Bay, jutting out on a, a large point, Raska Zone, out into the Indian Ocean. You can look out each morning and see the blue water all around. Really quite a beautiful spot. When I first came, I wanted to get some uh, basic transportation for getting around town. I was looking around at a few little motorcycles or scooters. I ended up with a, a Triumph 500cc machine, a little bit of a, an old clunker at times. It started off in uh, Mombasa back in, I guess, about 1954, and it's been traveling around a lot of the world since then. I've ended up with it, and it, it seems to have been, well, basic transportation anyway. A few coughs and wheezes along the way, but it gets me to school and back each day. I'm teaching at Tanga Secondary School. It's one of the, well, the many government schools now in Tanzania. Uh, when we started to do the new physics course at our school, uh, Mr. Mazigo and I were on a course down in Dar es Salaam, where we were briefed on how this new type of physics was supposed to be introduced I in our school. Since then, we, we have been working together to get together some of the apparatus that we need and work over our, our plans uh, for how we are going to use the apparatus and just how we are going to teach each of the lessons. I'm teaching forms one, two, and four in physics. In forms one and two, Mr. Mazigo and I are teaching a new type of physics that has been introduced in the last two years at our school, a type of physics called the SSP, School Science Project, because type of physics involves a lot more experimental work. Uh, in our, our present timetable, Mr. Mazigo is teaching one of the Form 1s and one of the Form 2s. I am doing the other Form 1 and Form 2. In our present lesson in Form 2, we are trying to show in this experiment the effects of uh, surface tension and uh, intermolecular forces holding uh, like particles together or uh, a like substance together. One thing that uh, I was quite pleased with when I found, when I came to Tanga, was that one of the problems I thought we might have teaching physics was uh, a shortage of equipment. Back in Canada, we'd heard that the schools might, might not have all the equipment we need. But here at Tanga, we seem to have really enough equipment to do almost any, any of the experiments that are on the course, and even some rather f sophisticated type measuring and weighing equipment, plus some rather good demonstration equipment. 
I think the school itself seems to be very well run. I don't think there are any very serious discipline problems. Most of the students are quite interested in learning so that teaching in the class seems to be quite easy. One thing I find perhaps a little discouraging at times, not, not that much, but, but I've noticed this a, a few times when talking to students about uh, physics problems, some of the students wanted to stay after class one time and go over some difficulties that they were having in, in physics. I, I was asking them if they had another class to go to. They mentioned they were going to the woodworking shop and that they thought, well, studying physics was much more important than woodworking shop. This seems to be the attitude at times that something, if you were working with a pencil on a paper, it's uh, a much more important job than if you're working with your hands. And I think in Tanzania right now that it's a little bit more important to get more people working with their hands than perhaps working with pencils and papers. It's a standard policy now at uh, all the, the secondary schools that all of the students take part in what they call self-reliance activities. In my Form 3 mathematics class, uh, at the moment, we're beginning to study quadratic equations. We have done a little bit of work on theoretical solutions for uh, the equations. Just now, we're starting on to graphical solutions. These students at school, I think, are by this time quite, quite used to expatriate teachers, teachers from outside. I guess uh, all through their well, secondary schooling, they've had teachers from countries other than Tanzania. I think, though, it would be rather naive to think that teachers from outside can really do the job as well as teachers from Tanzania. There are really quite, quite a few differences in our, our cultural backgrounds, and teachers from outside really, I think, at, at times aren't going to understand the backgrounds of the students, their family lives, their home lives, the, the way that they are going to think and the problems that they are going to have all the time in school. Guitar Society is quite a, a, a pleasurable pastime for me. I've been playing around on guitar for a while back in Canada, and a lot of the students at the school were interested in, in guitar here. So we were able to get a school guitar, and we now have the Guitar Society organized, where they are able to learn to play guitar, and also to play a lot of the Tanzanian songs. Uh, the last two years at Tanga Secondary, we've been offering adult education classes. Uh, starting to teach the people who have finished up to standard seven, but now want to continue on uh, as adult students. Each Monday and Tuesday, I'm teaching the mathematics, which we also teach in Form 1. These classes usually run from 4.30 to 5 up until around 6. So usually on those days, end up finishing up at school just after 6 and then going back for supper.
I think the the reaction you get from the the people of Tanzania as you travel around, especially in the rural areas, seems to be quite fantastic, quite a, a different reaction than you ever get in, in a place like Canada, or in a, a place, I guess, where there's too many cities and people are too separated. And people feel that if you are able to speak Swahili, that at least you have made some effort to, to communicate with them. And then they are, I think, a li little more friendly and a little more open with you. And that I found that this has opened sort of many doors to friendships with, with people all over Tanzania. The cost of living here in Tanga is much less than what you'd find, I think, any place back in Canada. The uh, salary we get from Tanzania government is 900 uh, shillings a month. Uh, converting that back into dollars, it ends up we're making close to uh, $32, $33 a week. I guess back in Canada it would sound like quite a, a small amount, but here it's really quite adequate. Been able to buy all of our food without any problem. We can afford to pay our cook who prepares all our meals. We can uh, afford to buy and uh, operate a, a motorcycle and do as much traveling around Tanzania during our holidays and break time that the time allows. One sort of common worry coming to the, the tropics is a uh, fear that it's going to be much too hot, you're going to suffer from the heat all the time. I think the, the hottest time I've had since really joining with CUSA was back in Montreal when we were on orientation. I think that's about the hottest weather and the most uncomfortable weather we had since I left Toronto. Uh, I think the, the personal gain is that you get from coming to a place like Tanzania is, is an awful lot more than what you were giving out. Uh, the chance to, to be in a country that it isn't really the same as Canada, that doesn't always think exactly the same way, is uh, just a, a great uh, learning experience. It's, a chance to really find out more about you know, about other things in the world and also about yourself. Now in the past, about three years ago, the school had been able to borrow some brass instruments, brass band instruments, and they'd been sitting around in the storeroom for quite a while. So last January, we managed to get those out. A few of the students knew how to play the trumpets, and along with, with them sort of guiding and helping the others, we managed to build up a, a fairly good brass band. places that you, you've seen every day for two years. Uh, after spending two years here, it, it seems very much like a home. <laughs> <laughs> 